In this video, I'm going to show you the best Bollinger Band strategy that you've never heard of that has an incredible win rate and generates insane profit and to show you just how insane it is. I'm going to back test it 100 times and show you the result. This strategy works well on crypto, stocks, indices, and Forex markets where there's sufficient volume and market participants. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. This strategy works best in a ranging market, so we're on the USD CAD 2 minute chart, as this pair likes to be in a range more often than others. This strategy also works on other pairs and time frames. Test it out for yourself. This is a triple Bollinger Band strategy, so we're going to use three Bollinger Bands. Go to the Indicators tab and type in Bollinger Bands. Click on it three times. Let's change the settings. For the first Bollinger Band under the Styles tab, we're going to change the upper and lower band colors to red and turn off the background color. And then under inputs, we're going to change the MA length to 50 and the standard deviation to 2. For the second Bollinger Band, we're going to change the upper and lower bands to yellow and turn off the background color as well. Under inputs, set the length to 50 and the standard deviation to 3. And for the third and final Bollinger Band, we're going to change the upper and lower bands to orange and turn off the background color as well. And under inputs, set the length to 50 and standard deviation to 4. For our next indicator, we're going to add an RSI indicator. We're going to set the length to 3 and turn off the RSI based MA the middle band, and the background fill. Also set the upper band to 80 and the lower band to 20. And for our last indicator, we're going to add the stochastics oscillator. And for the settings, we're going to set the percent %K length to 5 and the percent %K and percent %D smoothing to 3. For style, we're going to turn off the middle band and the background. And our chart should look something like this. For long entries, we wait for the candle to touch or penetrate past the lower red Bollinger Band. When that happens, the RSI and the stochastic should be below the 20 level. If the next candle retraces and closes back through the red Bollinger Band, while the RSI goes above the 20 level, and the stochastic crosses lines between the 20 and 40 level, you put in a buy order. Put your stop loss at the yellow band and put your take profit for a 1 to 1 risk reward ratio. Now if a candle were to penetrate the yellow Bollinger Band and the next candle were to retrace and close back through the yellow band with the same RSI and stochastic conditions, you can also put in a buy order and put your stop loss at the orange band and go for a 1 to 1 risk reward ratio. For sell entries, wait for the candle to touch or penetrate past the red Bollinger Band. When that happens, the RSI and stochastic should be above the 80 level. If the next candle retraces and closes back through the red Bollinger Band while the RSI falls below the 80 level and the stochastic crosses lines between the 80 and 60 level, you put in a sell order. Put your stop loss at the yellow band and put your take profit for a 1 to 1 risk reward ratio. And here's another short example. Price breaks through the red band, then on the next candle, it retraces and closes back inside the red band. While the RSI falls below the 80 level and the stochastic crosses lines between the 80 and 60 level, we'll enter at the close of this candle for a 1 to 1 risk reward ratio. All right, now I'm gonna go through a few examples with you guys bar by bar, so you get an idea of how this strategy plays out. Like I said before, this is a strategy we want to use during ranging markets, when the bands look like this, or at the end of a trend. Looks like we have another entry signal while we have another position currently in play. So we can go ahead and open this other position.
You want to try and avoid to trade during trends. However, if you see divergence with price and either of the indicators, you can go for a trade, as this indicates that price is likely to reverse. Also, if your potential stop loss is too far from price, you can consider placing it just below the lowest price for long entries and the highest price for short entries. We're not going to enter this one as the stochastic lines haven't crossed. Looks like it would have been a winner, however. And we have 9 winning trades in about 10 hours. I'm going to back test this some more and I'll be right back. And here are the results. In 100 trades, we've got an insane 80% win rate with a gain on account of 225% in just 20 days. We went for a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, risking 2% per trade. We have a profit factor of four with 10 consecutive wins versus two consecutive losses with a maximum drawdown of 4%, which is absolutely insane. This app we use for backtesting is called Trader Edge, which cuts down backtesting time by more than half and gives all the necessary post-testing metrics all traders need to make sure they're trading the right strategy. Link down below for a 7 day free trial. Remember, this is not financial advice. Be sure to do your own due diligence and make sure you do your own back and forth testing before trying this strategy out in the live markets. If you enjoyed this content and haven't already, smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. If you're interested, we also have premium content on our website at thetrademeta.com. See you in the next one.